<laughs> hey, it's Sasha. I've stolen Olivia's phone because this week it's Pace Week. So I'm currently a second year studying Pace at Warwick University. If you're wondering what Pace stands for, it's Politics and International Studies. The brilliant part is, and um, it's kind of what made me choose Warwick over every other uni, is that it really does split between politics and international relations. Um, so you get to learn the political theory side of things and the international relations side of things. And then come second and third year, you can really choose which one you would like to specify in. So if you wanted to go down a world politics route, you can. But if you want to do normal politics with a lot more Theory, you can do that too. mostly because there's no direct path you can go down. It's a very varied course, you can really do whatever you want. Um, so they do a lot of talks, um, especially in the first term of second year, just because it preps you for summer and what you can actually do further on after your degree, because a lot of the placements for PACE will be when you actually have an educational qualification for it. how to build your CV for specific roles in PACE, so if you wanted to apply for government, if you wanted to apply for an NGO, it just gives you sort of a broad advice. They all happen towards the end of term one, so I actually haven't attended any at the moment. No, again, mostly because tying on to what I said before, you can only really do them in your second year or third year and mostly after graduation because again you need the qualification, they do look at what you've done um, rather than the fact that you're actually in university. So you do need to complete your degree mostly, however because again it's such a broad subject, if you wanted to specialise in government, I know people who have gone to the treasury to do some placements and I know people who have gone abroad if you can find that sort of thing. Um, so it's very it's very difficult in first year to do anything with pace, but then second year it broadens up and you can do whatever you want. In first year pace you do three core modules, which is political research in the 21st century, world politics and introduction to politics. And it is very much an introduction to world politics and politics in general. So even if you haven't done an A-level, degree level, you're gonna find pretty basic because they explain everything to you on a platter. Um, and then you have two optional modules that you can take. Um, so one in the autumn term, one in the spring term, and there's only about four different options. Um, you can go down the political economy side, you can do comparative politics. It sort of introduces you to what Warwick offers. Year, um, I do two core modules which are political theory on a domestic level and then international relations theory so um, yeah pretty, pretty basic it's just all the theoretical things 60 cats worth of optional modules <laughs> and um, I've taken you can take anything you can take anything from economics if you have the grades you can do I know people do physics modules um, and there are a lot of options in pace to do security modules um, case studies of countries like UK USA China um, they introduce new new modules all the time, so always keep up to date on what they are offering and where the Warwick where the Warwick is the place that offers you these modules. And I think that's such an incredible thing because it lets you go down the exact exact path that you want in pace. I'm doing climate change, which is a very big of very big importance to me, and so I like the fact that with my pace modules, I can actually do that. I do find it helpful 
because, like I said, first year is very much an introduction to politics, so a lot of the things were repeated, but obviously built upon at a degree level. So it was very useful that I knew the basics. However, they are so good at explaining everything. The reading is so thorough that even if you know nothing, even if you don't know who the Prime Minister is, first year pace will teach you everything. is a lot. You don't have many contact hours a week, so a lot of it is your own research and your own study and you have to discuss it in seminars. You have to be ready to discuss what you've just written in the lecture, otherwise you will get behind. But my main advice is don't panic. Don't panic at all. You can do the reading, skim read it, get the basic points. And then when it comes to writing essays and doing your exams and revising for these exams, that is when you start going in depth. I only got into politics at A-level and I was kind of worried about coming to do a degree and whether I'd actually like it more but Warwick Pace Department is incredible, I have had nothing but support, like just seminar tutors are incredible, anything you don't understand they will explain to you as if you are five and I think that is so necessary at degree level because it can be quite overwhelming and it's exactly what I expected Pace to be like at Warwick. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, I hope it's helpful, keep watching Olivia's videos!